up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I feel like I am totally on a slant here. My video isn't straight because I just brought the camera back in from outside. But today's video basically is going to be a get ready with me video. It has been forever since I've done one of these and basically because when I film a get ready with me video it would normally take me about half an hour to get ready and if I'm filming it it will turn more into like an hour and a half so I just really haven't had the time to sit down and make one lately but I figured today would be a good day it's just basically a casual fall every single type of day look um, I am wearing Lolita on the lips which is like my new found love and you guys know the rest you guys know me very simple neutral eyes a little bit of winged liner dramatic mascara and glowy type of skin. I'm gonna show you guys everything in this video, the makeup, the hair, the perfume, the outfit. What else am I forgetting? The shoes, the whole process. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look right here, then just keep on watching. All right guys, let's do this. The first thing that I'm gonna do is pull out my phone and bring up my Joel Osteen app. I love to listen to him while I get ready. Then I'm going to apply my eyeliner. I'm using the Jumbo Pencil by NYX in the shade French Fries, love it. Next, I'm going to be moving on to my foundation, you guys, already know I'm using my CoverGirl Aqua Smooth. This brush I believe is from Sephora. It's a fluffy brush. I love, love, love this foundation so much. I used it pre-Accutane. It was a little bit more of a heavy hand and I am still using it after Accutane because it just gives me a beautiful, flawless finish. Honestly, you guys, nothing compares to this foundation. I don't care that it's $7, it's amazing. Next, we're gonna conceal these under eye circles. So I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in two different shades, just to kind of brighten up that area a little bit. I don't always use two, but today I decided to. And I'm going to be using a Morphe brush to buff this out. I really like this brush a lot because it kind of has a pointed edge. I should have showed it to you guys a little bit better, but it helps me to get into the little nooks and crannies of my eyes. I'm going to be setting this with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. There is so much hype about this stuff, so I just had to pick it up. I'm still deciding if I love it, so I will definitely update you guys on that. But so far, not too bad, no complaints. Next, I'm gonna be using the 135 brush from MAC. It is amazing, and my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade Light Luminous, or Luminous Light. And I'm going to be applying this on my forehead, on the temples, a little bit around my nose, on my chin, underneath the jawline, and I'm gonna kind of contour just a little bit, but I'm really just trying to bring a little bit of warmth back into my face. After that, I'm gonna be using the same brush and I'm going to be applying this amazing CoverGirl blush. It's in the shade Ice Cappuccino. Literally, you guys, come on, it's amazing. Then I'm going to be applying my highlight. I'm using my Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop by Becca. I have been getting so many compliments from you guys about my highlighter lately and the only thing that changed is the little brush I'm using. I'm using a MAC 224. Next, I'm gonna be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. I'm just going to be using the yellow shade to kind of just even out the skin on my eyes. Then I'm gonna be going in with one of the contour shades right into my crease. I basically just want to buff this in and make it look like a natural shadow, nothing all that dramatic. After I place that down, I'm gonna be going in with another 224 brush just to really buff it out. And then I'm going to be applying onto the lids a champagne shade by NYX. It's really natural and glowy looking, and I'm gonna be pulling that into my tear ducts as well. So next, I am not going to be curling my eyelashes because you guys already know that they are permed. I will go ahead and link that video down below. If you didn't know, it's amazing, and yes, I already went for my next touch up. They're permed again. <laughs> so what I'm gonna be doing here is applying my liquid liner. I'm using the one by Jessie's Girl. It's almost as good as my favorite one by Physicians Formula. I like it. It's not as smudge proof, but I believe it's something like $3, so I'm not complaining. Then I'm gonna be going in with two different mascaras. The first one is CoverGirl's Full Lash Bloom. This gives me the most beautiful long eyelashes, but I like them to look a little bit more on the thick side. So right on top of that, I'm gonna bust out my L'Oreal Miss Manga until my lashes are on fleek. Lastly, we're gonna move on to the lips and I'm gonna be using my MAC Boldly Bare Lip Liner. Now, not only am I going to line my lips, but I'm also going to fill in my entire lips because I find that this really helps my lips or my lipstick to last all day long. So after I completely fill them in, I'm gonna go right over that with Lolita by Kat Von D. You guys, this is so amazing. It's the most gorgeous fall shade ever. I am so beyond in love with it. I love it. 
Next, we gotta do something with this hair. You guys know me, I'm very lazy in the morning. I really don't like heat styling on a daily basis. So what I do is I do an overnight style. I kind of put my hair up in a bun and then I just take it out in the morning. And even though my hair is naturally stick pin, 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 pin straight, when I take it out in the morning, I have these beautiful waves and I kind of just manipulate them with my fingers. I kind of just play around with it until I have it looking exactly the way that I want. And then I'm going to be using a texturizing spray. This is by Selma Hayek. And it's kind of like a dry shampoo type of texture. And it just gives me a little bit of volume and hold at the same time. And here's a look at the final makeup and hair. All dramatic. Yes. Next, I'm going to be picking out my perfume. I'm using Embrace by Vera Wang. And as far as my outfit, the top is from H&M. The high-waisted pants are from Fashion Nova. And the boots, you guys already know, yes, just fab. So here I am getting ready for the day. My sister Melanie called me from work and she's kind of just filling me in with the cheese mate of the day. And I have little Rocco over here hanging out behind me. You'll see him in a second. There he is. And he's just randomly eating the bed don't really know what's going on here next i'm going to be picking out my jewelry so i'm going to be wearing my daily watch i wear it every single day it's from michael kors this bracelet i get a lot of questions on it's actually from pandora i'm wearing some simple studs and my everyday rings i decided to tie this plaid hoodie around my pants just to kind of give a little pop to my outfit thought that it looked cute and i'm ready to start my day thank you guys so much for getting ready with me all right, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know by thumbsing up this video down below, leaving a comment. Let me know if you want to see more of them. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Mwah, 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 and ignore my two broken nails. Nail appointment is tomorrow, so I got you. These pink nails are not very fall-esque at all. All right, guys, see you soon. Mwah, bye.